Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim World 2. Back again to do another relook at a route that we've already done. Another look, as it was. Uh, this time on the Harlem line. Uh, last time, stream wise, uh, we looked at the Spirit of Steam thing, which just, it's too complicated. It's too complicated. It just, well, for me, anyway, it's too complicated. Uh, this time, something electrocuted. Uh, that's the Harlem line. Uh, so we'll do the retraining on the trains because I've forgotten how to do that, obviously. Uh, and then we'll see if we can do a full line run uh, on this. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTubes and you're new to my content, welcome indeed. This going out on Train Sim World Saturday. That's a thing. Uh, other train content goes out on Railway Wednesday, where we do some Train Sim Classic. Uh, there's some OMSI for now on a Monday. On a Friday, it goes uh, one of the other streams that I do throughout the course of the week. And if I've got something new to look at or something new to review, that goes out on a Sunday. So plenty of content from me uh, there'll be links of course in the doobly-doo uh, below uh, to where you can get this dlc for train sim world 2 one down there to the twitch page where you can watch me live do this stuff you know live uh, and one to the discord server as well uh, right that's all that out of the way uh right so if we click on the thing uh, and then go to the explorey and do the training we have done the training we did the training uh first time we did it so we'll do the line introduction then we'll do the m3a and the m7a training and then we'll see if we can do a four line run so let's click on this first and see what happens welcome to train sim world an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Uh, hi, Cryptic. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left. Okay, walk forward. For Emma uh, rightly, when I first did this, uh, I was really impressed with it. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Okay, good to know. I'm guessing on the train, yeah, that's a good start. Uh, oh, hello. Open the staff door and enter the cab. A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when ready, sit in the engineer's seat. I forgot, of course, we'd sit on the other side. Oh, God. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. Pausing. Unpausing. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. Oh, press E. That's me. That's a cue for me. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Okay, good to know. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. Oh, this is when we got to do the brakey buttony thing, isn't it? It's all coming back to me now. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. No, we don't want challenging, we want easy. This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle towards you to get moving. I, I've done the training on it. Sure you can't just shove me, okay. Okay, they're just going to let me just take control of a train. 
In train sim world, the Harlem Line runs for 24 miles from Grand Central Terminal and ferries commuters north through the iconic neighborhood of Harlem to the commercial hub of White Plains, Westchester. Uh, no, years ago I was contemplating the rail driver, but it doesn't work with every train. So that's a big put off towards it. Um, train Sim World allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. Game audio down a little bit. Okay, you done with the whole looking around thing now? Yeah, instead of a rail driver, I, I just bought a gaming keypad and I just use the WAS and D keys. We've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to the Harlem Line in one of the most famous cities in the world, New York. Here you can experience a bustling corridor in the heart of Manhattan. Ferry commuters in and out of the iconic Grand Central Terminal. Hurry them across the tightly packed Park Avenue, over the Harlem River, and out to the New York suburbs. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, nope. put up posters, nope. replace the fire extinguishers, nope. and clean up the recycling. Nope. Operate classic and modern equipment through the city that never sleeps. This is Train Sim World, Harlem Line, Grand Central Terminal to North White Plain. Yeah, it, it, it's probably really good and it does look really good. But from my point of view, just using WS and D keys on a gaming keypad uh, does exactly the same for me. Uh, I have thought about it because there's software I could use my flight controls, sort of flight throttles, um, and use those as the uh, reverser, brake and or throttle. Um, but I'm just quite happy just using the uh, standard WS and T keys. Plus the fact I haven't got room to put a rail driver. That's also the other factor. Uh, right. So let's do the training then on the two trains. The M3A first. Because I can't remember how to drive them. Although they just shoved me in one of them. That was the M7 I think I was just in. The M3A is the cooler one. Welcome to Tuckahoe. Today you will be taken through the operation of an M3A in Metro North Railroad livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. That's not noisy at all. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to go, go and get in the cupboard. Take a seat in the engineer's position. This is where you'll be spending... Mo the master key is used to activate the control desk. Shove it in. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Into forward. This unit has a combined throttle brake handle called a master controller which needs to be set before beginning the startup procedure. So set it into max brake. No, max brake. In order to release the brakes, the brake pipe must be fully charged. You can only do this when the master controller is in the max brake position. Uh, press and hold the... Oh, that one, on this one. Okay. So wait for that to build up. 90 I think it was yeah lights are important to let others know that this unit is operational uh, headlights to bright there we go we will now need to open the doors to begin loading really do we have to okay that's a proper train horn 
I've also got red lights on as well as the white lights. Should that be a thing? Uh, can I turn those off? Or is it just I can turn on the headlights bright? I guess there'll be another buttony thing for the uh, marker lights. Off. Is that the ones? There we go. We don't want the red lights showing, do we? Confuse people. Is that train going backwards or is it going forwards? What's going on? Okay, lock the doors. Doors on the locking. This train features an onboard cab signaling system with five speed limits shown on the aspect display unit. R indicates a restricted speed with a 15 miles per hour speed limit. M indicates a medium speed with a 30 miles per hour speed limit. This thing here. L indicates a limited speed with a 45 miles per hour speed limit. 60 indicates a 60 miles per hour speed limit. So R, M, L, And N 60. indicates that the speed limit is governed by the track speed, which is shown in the digital readout. Why not R, M, L, like H or something? We are now ready to depart oh. for Bronxville and continue the service. Really? Move the master controller into the power range to start moving. We can do that. We're moving. We've got a window we can open. Yes, we have. There we go. Right, reach 30 miles an hour. That's it. That's in the top position. Four is as far as it will go. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Okay, and stop at Bronxville just up here. So it's one handle does both things. Before stopping at each station, Sound the horn. So the people of the station know that we're arriving. I seem to be arriving quite early. Well, not time-wise, but distance-wise. So we'll back off the uh, braking for a little bit. Okay, slightly overrun. Uh, open the doors. Press unlock rearward doors. Sorry, what now? Was I not doing that before? Well, they're all open. Well, there's a thing. I was just doing it through the tab menu thing. Uh, lock rearward doors. Okay, you're going to make me do this every time, are you? So the door control switched off. Proceed to the next stop at Fleetwood. On the way, we will perform a recovery of the emergency brakes. Oh, God. Okay. Right, off to Fleetwood we go. Yeah, I think of the two trains, I prefer this one. And I really do like this line as well. So it's going to slam the brakes on at some point. Thanks for that.
we better get a move on because I'll be slowing down soon to actually arrive at the stationary place. An emergency break has occurred and the train is now coming to a stop. Oh no. Wait for the train to come to a complete stop before attempting to recover the train. Coming to a stop. A stop is happening. That was... Okay, that was a stoppy thing. Now that the train has stopped, we can perform the necessary steps to recover the train. After an emergency stop, the brake pipe will have been completely discharged, preventing the brakes from being released. To recover the train, we will need to recharge the brake pipe. First, move the master controller into the max brake position. Okay, max brake. Next, we will need to charge the brake pipe to at least 90 PSI. Ensure that you do not move the master controller whilst the brakes are charging. I does. There we nice go. Nice job. Now we can continue to Fleetwood. Okay, back with the lever. Wait for the brakes to release. There we go. So this is just a training for this train. So do the coasty thing. So L is uh, illuminated now. Can't remember what speed that was. It was a speed. Can't better remember these things. Right, and we come to Fleetwood. A is 45. I can remember that. Unlocking doors. Okay, I'm not doing anything with the overhead panel thing this time. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. That's it. You're really going to let me loosen it after after that. Okay. Right. That's, I could have clicked on the next training module, couldn't I? Oh, well, we go back to the menu. Uh, Explorey, trainee, and then look at the M7A, which is the more modern version. So we'll do this training, then we'll do a full line run. In probably the older train. Welcome to North White Plains Yard. Today you will be taken through the operation of an M7A in Metro North Railroad livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, Climb aboard to get started. Yeah, I know. RLM 60. Uh, oh, okay. I'll just... Take a seat in the engineer's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Oh, we haven't got a squeaky spare seat. Disappointing. The master key is used to activate the control desk. That's on. Forward. This unit has a combined throttle brake handle called a master controller, so which needs to be set before beginning the startup procedure. It's a really odd place directly in front of you. Rather than, obviously, modern trains, it's over to one side, so at least you, you, your arm is in its natural position. In order to release the brakes, the brake pipe must be fully charged. You can only do this when the master controller is in the max brake position. 
Okay, so set this, I'm guessing it's 90 again. There we go. Lights are important to let others know that this unit is operational. Headlights to bright. We are now ready to depart for North White Plains and begin the service. A lot of marker lights on though, we don't want those on, do we? Move the master controller into the power range to start moving. Marker lights off. Uh, okay. They're moving. There's movement. Coasting is a method used. Yeah, yeah, I know about coasting. Definitely seems the sort of horn that you wouldn't get on this sort of train. Totally got the audio right with Train Sim World 2. They really have. So we can go a little bit faster. That's quite a long train. It's beeping at me. Why are you beeping at me? Stop beeping at me. Before stopping at each station, move the master controller into the braking range to begin to slow down. I don't want to move the master controller into the braking range just yet. It likes making beepy noises, this one. That's why I prefer the older ones. Just because. See, an electric train that makes some noise. We approve of that. We like that. We like that a lot. Alright, what's the betting is going to ask me to pick up passengers from here and then do an emergency brake test again on the way to the next one. There we go. To unlock the doors, a key must be inserted in the corresponding door control. Oh, you actually want me to get up and... Okay, I'll just get up over and do that then. Emergency brake valve. Don't pull that lever. Stand over here, because I'm guessing I've got to do a thing with the thing again. What? Uh, lock doors. I think you're reading having to get up every time, isn't it? Set the door control. Okay, no, I'll get up again now. Then, okay, all right, I'll turn my little key. Door control switch to off. Nice work. Let's continue the journey to White Plains. A lot of getting up and down. Uh, stop at White Plains. Okay. Let's do the going thing. God, we got ten levels of the power, this thing. Blimey. That's too much. You don't need that much power. That's just ridiculous. An emergency break has occurred. We could have warned train me. Is now coming to a stop. Wait for the train to come to a complete stop before attempting to recover the train. 
fine. I'll just I'll do that. You, now you just clam the brakes on. Just now that the train has stopped, we can perform the necessary steps to recover the yeah, train. Yeah, max brake. After an emergency yeah, stop, the brake the thing. pipe will have been completely discharged, yeah, yeah. preventing the brakes from yeah. being released. No, no. Just, thank you. Can I have control back now? Nice work. Let's continue the journey to White Plains. Well, it would have been fine if you hadn't just slammed the brakes on. We were going along quite nicely, and you got involved. Right, we got 35 in 600 yards, so we'll. Uh, it down. Yeah, I definitely prefer the older train. So we'll use that one next and do a full line run. Stop beeping at me. It's an interesting braking noise as well. Somebody had a platform. Well, we need a platform. Unlocking the doors. Actually, that went bad. They can get off, look. Just about squeezed through by the railing. It's fine. That was almost perfect. Don't need any more room than that. I can't get out. Well, I can, actually. I couldn't get out. I could get out of the front if I really wanted to be daring. Are you able to get on? Yeah, see? Perfect. That's that's really good stopping. Uh, locking doors. Proceed to the next stop at Hartsdale, unguided, and see how you get on. Oh, God. Don't leave me. Man. Right, 1.8 miles to Hartsdale. And a 35 limit. to cross into the there you go oh still in the 35 I'll wait for the old train to pass through the speedy thing haven't we yeah now we get a 65 but we're only 1.4 miles away from the place let's just trundle on in but I'm during my holidays what holidays I haven't been anywhere Last holiday I had was two and a half years ago. It's definitely the wrong horn for that train. Terribly sorry, sir. You seem to have the wrong horn there. We this is the only horn we had available, so we fitted it for you. 
I do apologise for any horning inconvenience. Uh, no, I've been here every day. It's you that haven't been. Well, I had last Monday off, if that counts. Right, 900 yards. So a little bit late into uh, Hartsdale. They won't care. They won't mind, will they, really? So that's the training done on this one. Then we'll go to the timetable then. And uh, see if we can do a full run. Unlocking the doors. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Good to know. Right then. So, if we go to timetable, we'll go August, so we got a nice bit of thing. We'll go M3, because I prefer the older one. And North White Plains to GCT hour and six minutes that seems to be pretty much perfect that'll do to Grand Central Terminus so that'll be an all stops run then along the whole of the line okay so key in uh, reverse into the 40 thing, breaky thing into the uh, maxa, maximilian breakage, chargey the breaky, go that's those lights into the bright marker lights, nope, off they're off in the first place, get the pacer out. I would love it if the pacer was in um, Train Sim World 2. Hopefully one day it comes. Uh, okay, so we are ready to go. So stop at North White Plains. Open the window. Right, so a full line run then. All the way from North White Plains. Into Grand Central. So stopping at North White Plains, uh, Hartsdale, Scarsdale, Crestwood, Tuckahoe, Bronxville, Fleetwood, Mount Vernon West, Wakefield, Woodlawn, Williams Bridge, Botanical Garden, Fordham, Tremont, Melrose, Harlem, Grand Central. So quite a few stops on this route. Properly horny. Oh, yeah. Uh, Demi, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to Insanity. Uh, back tonight, by the way, uh, with more stuff in America, doing some American trucking because uh, of the new trailer DLC that's out. Uh, Going to be uh, towing some of those around. Uh, tomorrow lunchtime, more of the trucking. Uh, truck and logistics sim, been a big update for that. So uh, that's tomorrow lunchtime. 
and then back on Tuesday with some OMSI Wednesday Train Sim Classic uh, doing Frankfurt to Koblenz. Thursday Builder Simulator, next Friday Forza Horizon 5, next Saturday lunchtime Train Sim World 2 uh, where I'm going to be doing uh, Rapid Transit. Uh, next Saturday night Golfing with Idiots and next Sunday Farming. So uh, loads of stuff coming up over the next week. Planning. I've done planning. I've planned streams and things. I know. Not like me. I do the planny thing. A bacon butty. I had a sausage sandwich earlier. I haven't got any bacon. So that would limit the ability to have a bacon butty. Right, we're late already at the first stop because I've just been coasting my way in. Okay, so first stop. Oh, I didn't ho ho hoot my hooter. Uh, yes, I've got a whiteboard to the side of me with my list of streams. I've been awake like pre 5 a.m. the last two days, so I had to do something. Uh, wait until 11 o'clock. Okay, fine. Good morning, people. Oh, there's no people. Could be someone on board my train, surely. Oh, there's someone. Good morning. I'll be your driver today. Okay. Ignorant. Good morning. Yeah, also ignorant. It's not a very busy service, this one, is it? Wow, I think they put a shorter train on, wouldn't you? Is that it? Two passengers on the on the whole of the train. It. Oh no, they got someone else up here. Oh, two more people. Good morning. Nope. Okay. Good morning. Okay, I should be getting back to the cab. I'm going to go drive the train now. Is that okay? Okay. No smoking, by the way. Don't do it, kids. It's bad for you. You look like an idiot. One looks like me in no way whatsoever. Who closed all these doors behind me? That's what I left them open. It's going to be late now. I'll be fine if I don't have to open and close all these doors. No, I don't want to give up control. I'm heading back there. We're fine. I'm sure these like four passengers are going to be okay with me being like a minute late. It's me nearly there. Just the end of this carriage. And we're back there again. There we go, back into my cupboard. Okay, lock doors. Okay, stop at White Plains Track 2 in 1.2 miles. Let's get this thing going. Did I open the window? I did. Okay. It would have probably been quicker to run up the platform, but yeah, I d I've done it now. Right, onwards. So a run all the way to Grand Central. So coasting, we got a 50 limit coming up. 
we're only a mile away from our next station now. I can't remember what the distance is with these, how far they are apart. Obviously, the amount of stops we've got, I don't think they're that far. It's only a 24 mile uh, run, I think. Yeah, it's a really good line. Definitely impressed with it. Alright, we could do a bit more of the accelerators. I will come back to Steam, by the way. Um, I did a first look at the Steam Spirit of Steam the other day. Um, it's something I will come back another another look at. But I'd already planned on doing this and uh, doing rapid transit next week. So a couple of weeks' time, we'll come back and look at the steamy thing again. Okay, slowing down into White Plains. Stop beeping at me. The house prices out here are really expensive. I feel like an hour from uh, Grand Central. Breaking. Oh, not bad. Stop by the raining thing again. Uh, unlocking doors. Doors have done the unlocky. Just warning them I was there. Bit late, I know, but, you know, I did it. It's a bit like a prison door, isn't it? Someone's going to pass my meal through that little hatch. Here's your food. You stand back from the hatch. Wait until 11.04. Thankfully, that's only uh, you know, seven seconds away. Locking doors. All right, 1.8 miles to Hartsdale. What have we got? A 35 limit. So give it all of the beans. Number four. So obviously it's not as quick as the other one as the seven accelerating. I think so, Hillsman. Right, Hartsdale is next. Can't remember if this was a busy line with trains coming the other way when we did it previously. I don't feel the need to accelerate because we've only got a mile and then we've got to slow down again and we're due in three minutes well it's going to keep us waiting isn't it if we just go flat out everywhere it's going to keep us waiting at every station so we just trundle along and enjoy the ride Feel a bit cramped in here though, isn't it? Just sat in a cupboard. I think I said it before, yeah, it's like, yeah, we'll give the driver the least amount of space that we can. What if you're a really fat driver? How are you going to fit in here? 
Someone has to come and wedge you in and sh shut the door. There's a flashing light there. They're not supposed to do anything about it. It's flashing green. Right. Driving under the speed limit. We got some points for that. Good. Yeah, we're still early. So it shows that uh, there's no need to rush. It's all fine. We'll get there in the end. It's not like people have probably got jobs to go to. Lots of the braking now. Do the stopping thing. Unlocking doors. Oh, there are people getting on. These four. So the door's going to lock, and then it's going to tell me to wait another minute. Definitely a good thing. See, don't speed because you only get there just too early. Then you've got to stop and wait. There you go. Wait till 11.09. Open that window. I've got, good, I've got a good reach, haven't I? I can open that window from here. Oh, my God, Spider Man? Yeah, don't rush because you've only got to sit and wait anyway when you get there. So, coast, save fuel. Ten seconds to go until we can do the moving thing. Lock in doors. Okay, Scarsdale. Next in uh, 1.6 of the miles. So what have we got now? We got a 65 limit and we got a 60 limit. So just put it into number four. This acceleration won't be as good as if we notched it up, but there yeah, we get there. Yeah, I do like this line. Not normally a fan of the American stuff, but uh, yeah, I quite like this. I, like, I think I'd like to see more of this. What's the place? Is it Chicago has got the raised railway? The one that's up, up on stilts that goes over the streets. Um, I think that would be really cool if they did that. So slow it down slightly because it's bound to keep me. Oh no, I'm actually I'm about a minute out, so it shouldn't keep me waiting. Hopefully. And then into Scarsdale we come. So yeah, if you're new and you like your trains, every Saturday lunchtime we do something from Train Sim World 2. 
uh, every Wednesday night uh, something from Train Sim Classic. So two lots of trains a week. Tonight back with some American trucking. Tomorrow got uh, Truck and Logistics Simulator. There's been a big update to that. So we're going to give that a look. And then back to normal schedule next week with OMSI on Tuesday. Trains on Wednesday. Uh, Builder Simulator, new game on Thursday. Some Forza again on Friday. Some more Trains in World 2 next Saturday lunchtime. And that's a whole week of streams. Breaking. Some, some of the breaking. Bre breaking's happening. It's a lot a lot of the breaking. More, more, more of the breaking. All of the all of the breaking happened there. That's fine. It was perfectly fine. I wasn't panicking at all. That's quite a good uh oh no. Uh there's a name. Uh hello. Wait until 11.13. See, why t you encourage me to do the speedy thing and then you just keep me with the waiting here anyway. What's that? Left headlight breaker. Right headlight breaker. Okay. Why do you want to break your headlights? Snow brake. Wow, okay. Door bypass. Contact signaler. Don't do that. Uh, lights and th oh doors are locking <laughs> lock doors okay can we go now 2.2 miles to Crestwood okay go 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 All right, trains leaving going the other way look goodbye people going the other way I don't think they can hear me because they're on the train So 65 limit now. We've only got two miles. Let's see if we can get there. This isn't as quick as the uh, newer one, but uh, I prefer it. That's a big car park. Okay, yeah, but there's some speed happening now. Do the coasty thing. Yeah, definitely a good DLC. One of the better ones, this one. An hour long route. Good model trains. Takes some getting used to sitting on this side of the train, but you know, can't have everything. So we're on time as well. Well, mainly because it keeps holding us places. If we're not late, then there's something wrong. We've got to be late by the time we get there. There's a flashing green light. Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay, that was a track change. Let's do some of the brakey things then. Because the stoppy place is coming up. Another train coming the other way. So it's fairly busy. Quite a lot of the braking happening now. There's 
And the stopping thing. We did the stopping thing. Unlock the left doors, because if you unlock the right ones, they'll all fall off. Are you getting on then, or are you just going to stand there? Barbados, all inclusive holiday. That'd be quite nice. I could cope with that, I think. Well, I'm not really a beach person. <laughs> Get there day one, sit on the beach for 10 minutes. I'll be like, yeah, now what? <laughs> what can I, I do now? Another train, in other way. Uh, locking doors. Uh, left one. Okay, tuck a hoe. In point seven of a me. Still a flashing green light, don't know what that means. We are literally flat out. She can't go any faster, Captain. Can he do it? Breaking. It's some, some breaking. Breaking is still happening. Okay, I may have braked a bit too early. Actually, I don't think there's any may have braked a bit too early about it at all. I braked a bit too early. A lot too early, in fact, some would say. See, you should be committal to the brakes. Apply them, keep them on. Don't come on and off. Okay, unlocking right. That's this side. Forgot to do that. Is anyone actually getting on? Oh, I think there are people down there getting on. Oh, yeah. Track four. We had this discussion last time, didn't we, about the track numbering thing. Was it this line or was it another line? As to why the numbering system was like... One, two, four. Or one, three, four. I'm sure we did. I can't remember. 1120. Well, you're making me wait again. <sighs> it's called a waiting simulator. Fine, I'll just wait then. There. <laughs> I'm done with the waiting now. I'm, I'm going. Right, point seven of a meh to Bronxville. So yeah, Bronxville's next. Then we've got Fleetwood, Mount Vernon West, Wakefield, Woodlawn, Williams Bridge, Botanical Garden, Fordham, Tremont, Melrose, Harlem, and Grand Central. Still got quite a few stops to go. And Bronxville is the next station stop. For those passengers departing at Bronxville, get off here. For those passengers not departing at Bronxville, stay on. It gives you time to restock the fire extinguishers and change the rubbish bins at every station. No, not doing it. Train sim. Train sim. 
not repairing fence, stocking up fire extinguishers, putting posters up, Sim. Just, no, stop it. Dovetail. Focus less on that rubbish, more on giving us longer journeys and more routes. No one wants to do the posters. No one wants to repair fences and fill up fire extinguishers. We want to drive trains. That's why we're here. Where's these wooden things in the middle? Ah, uh, I know what they are. Okay. So they park, I'm guessing, for cleaning. So they'll park a train on those tracks, line the doors up with those platforms. So on this track, line the doors up with those platforms, park another train on this track, line those doors up. You can go through from train to train for like cleaning and stuff. Uh, let's see. Or it's in case they run a really busy service and have two trains pull up side by side. I think it's more of the cleaning thing. Uh, stop at Fleetwood, 1.1 of the Miz. Go. Oh, supposed to do that on the way in, not on the way out. Right, one mile to Fleetwood. First name Mick. So, coasty thing. Get ready to do the breaky thing. Break. And then a little bit more than min break. And then just some coasting, just because. The lady loves milk tray. Got some milk tray in my fridge. Got given for my birthday. None of it's still in date now. It was four months ago. Breaking. More, more of the breaking. A long platform and not using all of it. Why? Closest end to the exit, I reckon. Yeah, that's why. Because <laughs> the stairs are down that end. So you wouldn't want to... They just bring the train all the way up here and make people do the waiting thing for it. Oops. Accidental hornage. Uh, 11.25 to Grand Central on time. That's us. We're on time, apparently. I think you're forcing us to be on time by holding us at stations. I then... Okay, 1.1 miles to Mount Vernon West. Okay, go. So we got a 45 in two miles beyond the next station, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Yeah, definitely prefer this train to the newer one. 
I like the fact that it accelerates slowly. That pleases me. I don't do fast. Crispy. So I'll do the coasty thing. A little bit of the brakey thing. Still not about flashing it green lights for. It's not beeping at me or anything. Can't be important. Right, here we come into Mount Vernon West. Track four. Well, we're still roughly on time. It's definitely not right. That was a BP thing. Yeah, I think if I'd have gone up through the notches, it would have accelerated quicker if we're going one, two, three, four. Going straight into four, um, it's not accelerating that fast. A bacon and avocado sandwich sounds absolutely disgusting. Uh, unlocking doors. We're still on time. Thought it would have been another train coming the other way by now. We seem to pass one up most stations. Is that the next station down there? I can see another footbridge in front of us down there. If that's the next station. They can just make this platform longer and uh, just link the two together. Oh, locking doors. Yeah, 700 yards, Wakefield. Strange quiche, green stuff, crackers and pasta. Again, doesn't sound appealing. I don't mind a bit of quiche. Crack, quiche, packer, pack, packers and crasta? No, quiche, crackers and pasta. That seems a really odd combination as well. You lot are all weird. No, I think that was lunch, Hillsman. Because, you know, it's 20 to 1. Sounds healthy, crispy. So, fair play. Okay, I've arrived in Wakefield. Not the one in the UK. Avocado's healthy. Anything that's healthy tastes disgusting. Pasta was one of those in the pots with the sauce and stuff. So a pot noodle. <laughs> Cold meat leftovers with chips and pickle. Now you're talking, Len. Uh, locking doors. No, the proper pasta. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going forwards. <coughs> I'm making a vegetable casserole tomorrow in the slow cooker 
So that'll be slightly healthy. We got steak tonight. What have I got tonight? Hot dogs. Because I bought some hot dog buns the other day and they go out of date tomorrow. So today when I went shopping, I had to buy hot dogs. I wasn't going to have them the other day and then realised I didn't have any hot dogs. Um, I can't do the... I was pressing it the wrong way, that's why. Hang on, braking. I thought, I can't... Why aren't I like, decelerating? I was pressing the button the wrong way. It's confusing. Tinned or proper ones in the butcher? In a jar? Right, slowing down into Woodlawn. They're bloody expensive as well. So hope they're nice. Oh, there's some braking. That was that was some squeaky braking. Supposed to do that as I approach the station. The count want to do at the station doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't see any other trains going the other way yet. Bit of a lacking in service coming out of New York. Must be Waitrose. We've got a Waitrose here. I went. I've been twice, and it's been open about four years. Can't afford to shop there. Uh, locking doors. Right, 1.3 miles to Williams Bridge. Yeah, definitely prefer this because it accelerates slowly. Like that. Get out of the door, someone keeps ringing it. I was like, my phone. Not to answer it. Hello? I'm driving a train. Stop beeping at me. Don't know why there's like the little key thing off a corned beef tin shoved in the dash as well. You know, that thing. Do you like me a tin of corned beef? Corned beef and chips. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot this is just full of school buses, this route, isn't it? That's all there is. Right, 800 yards. We're roughly on time as well. So it's over an hour, this four-line run from White Plains into Grand Central. Breaking. Quite a nice little route, this one. Probably my favourite American DLC. Spam fritters. I do like a bit of spam. Yeah, I've planned my uh, streams for the week. I've planned my meals for the week. I've planned what clothes I'm wearing all week for work. I've planned my lunches for work. 
I am so organized. Uh, unlock doors. Oops, forgot to be horny again. Are there any other trains on this line? What's going on? Are we the only one? Surely we'd see a lot more trains than this. I was hope. I was hope? No. I was hopeful uh, at the beginning. Thinking there'd be a lot of the uh, the trafficy things. Uh, locking doors. Uh, botanical garden is next. Go, go, go. So we've got uh, Botanical Garden, Fordham, Tremont, Melrose, Harlem, and Grand Central to go. I should get some... I haven't had a pot noodle for a couple of years. When I was going for my very unhealthy phase, it was alcohol, pot noodle, and LucasAid. That's pretty much what I survived on at the weekends. And Rustler's Burgers. That's one of those fancy garden places, isn't it? A botanical garden. <laughs> one of those fancy garden places. Oh, look at you with your fancy garden place. <laughs> yes, Crispy, it is. <laughs> Welcome to the botanical gardens. <laughs> it's just a fancy garden place. Oh. Right, breaking. And I'll do meat free pot noodles. Yeah, I've given up on that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't drink fizzy drinks anymore. I'm trying to cut down on. Uh, chocolate and crisps although a bar of chocolate fell in my basket on Thursday when I went to Tesco's still unopened right unlocking doors that's a lot of ivy on the outside of those. Wow, okay. That's a thing. That's why I'm a size 10. That's women's sizes, isn't it? <laughs> That'd be quite a thin waist as well, a 10. Part <laughs> of the fancy garden. <laughs> it is. Oh, I love you, Crispy. <laughs> right, Fordham is next. Fordham, where we were due uh, a minute ago. Whole timekeeping thing has gone out the window now completely. Yeah, so we get tonight, we're back with some American trucking uh, with the release of the new Trailers DLC. We're going to be hauling a couple of those around tonight in ATS. Uh, tomorrow lunchtime, uh, I've got some truck and logistics sim. It's been a big update for that, so doing that tomorrow lunchtime. Uh, then next week, back on Tuesday with some OMSI. Wednesday, some Train Sim Classic. Uh, doing Frankfurt to Koblenz. I haven't done any of that before. Uh, Thursday, new game uh, that releases Thursday, I think. Um, builder Simulator. Friday, some more Forza Horizon 5. Saturday lunchtime, some more Train Sim World 2. Uh, we're going to be doing Rapid Transit. Oh, And yeah. next Saturday night, some Golfing with Idiots. And next Sunday, uh, potentially some farming. Uh, Dave. All right, Dave. Uh, thanks very much for the follow.
Breaking. Some of the breaking. Unlocking the right side. Oh, that's that's weird. We're in a tunnel. Horny in a tunnel. There's definitely been nothing else coming the other way, is there? Like, where are all the other trains? Where are they all? Locking doors. Uh, Tremont. 1.1 of the miles. Oh, there's another train there, look. So making our way in towards Grand Central. I really do like this DLC. Right, coasty thing. Well, there will also be a couple of uh, new games entering the uh, stream schedule the next few weeks. Uh, some rallying. Uh, Got to find out how we can uh, do that in multiplayer. And the Curse of Monkey Island. Uh, Going to be giving that a go. Uh, I don't know in what slot. Probably the Thursday night slot. For Monkey Island. Uh, rallying will probably go in on the Saturday in a couple of weeks' time. Okay, that's a lot of braking. Dr. Bunny, we did talk about that. Because that's been... Uh, we slightly overshot there. That's been quite talked about. So one day for the lols, I will do some more Dr. Bunny. But I'll do it on a stream. Okay, these doors open. That's slightly dangerous. It counts. So, some of the trains on the... It wouldn't have all fitted on anyway. Look at the length of the train. Look at the length of the platform. There's no way that would have all got on there. Not a hope. Okay, locking doors. Melrose Place. 1.7 miles. So what have we got to go? We have Melrose, Harlem, and Grand Central. So about another 15 minutes to go. And onwards. See, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm streaming Builder Simulator on Thursday. If that works out that it's uh, really good, then uh, I'll try and fit more of that in. Too much stuff, not enough time. Yeah, Oms is starting to sort of get to that point again with me. Where I'm like, yeah, I've had enough of it again. So I think I might need to take a break from Omsy for a while. Let's 
which is becoming more and more annoying as well with this whole premium thing. Keeps getting rammed down our throats. Right, 800 jars to Melrose. Yeah, I'd like to do something else, like company point of view wise. You know, I I really hope that we get some um, uh, ETS two, like official um, VTCs, because that would make me want to do more ETS two. So we do that on like a Tuesday instead of OMSI. Um Or was even thought about doing uh, something with flight along the same sort of vein. That's quite dark in there. Good thing we got lights. We are at Melrose. She has a train company simulator. I would absolutely love it. Said this for ages. Uh, to be able to like have a line and have people run virtual like train services up and down one line would be awesome. And then you buy other lines and do other services on other lines. That would just be fantastic. Uh, right, Harlem. In 1.9 miles. Maybe I can create it. Uh -huh. Well, we, we, I bought um, railroads online because that's a multiplayer train driving thing where you got to do routes and shift stuff around. Probably there's no one else in the community's got it. So that sort of limits the factor on being able to do, do that. So that's the one difficulty we're having with uh, multiplayer stuff. Although handily, when I said that we're stopping farm sim, uh, because of a lack of interest in those people already on the farm. We then get people interested in joining the farm. Typical. Uh, Connor. Three months already. Can't believe our time flies. Uh, thank you very much, Connor. Uh, your support is appreciated. Thank you indeed. It really, it genuinely, it's, it's really nice. When people find the streams, uh, take that first step to uh, subscribe. Uh, and then stick around. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, once people have been here for a few months, um, generally they hang about, which is, uh, yeah, it's is, it is truly, truly, truly cool. We are a bit of a weird community. You either get the humour, you get the, um, the fact that I don't take these things seriously, and then you hang around, or you just don't. That's lots of beeping. You're beeping at me. Why are you beeping at me? Right, into Harlem we come, slowly. It's only getting a bit built up there, look. That's a long time, Hillsman. I'm 
going to repost. I uh, took it down um, the other day because I was trying to think of a different format to do it. Um, I'm going to repost details at a meetup we're doing in four weeks' time. Um, so I'll post that again later on in the Discord server. I was trying to use one of the event rooms to try and do it as an event, uh, but couldn't work out how to do it. Um, so uh, we're doing a meetup at the um, Gaydon um, Motor Museum on the 2nd of July, uh, where there's also Bus Fest uh, at the same day. So not only is Gaydon a brilliant motor museum, which I'm looking forward to uh, wandering around, but uh, Bus Fest is on as well. So hopefully it's uh, good weather. Um, really looking forward to that one. Yeah, Google Plus. We probably did Google Plus for about a year before we uh, made the switch to Discord. I really do li did like Google Plus. <laughs> I stream it. Uh, I probably will do a um, a video from it. I'm actually toying with um, doing something a bit different in the next week. Um, as those of you may know, I collect various things uh, I've just this morning completed my Xbox 360 collection um, so I'm actually toying with just doing a, a video going through all my models of Xbox 360 and then eventually adding all the Xbox consoles uh, to that um, to see if there's any interest so uh, that may end up being more sort of videos like that because I know there are people out there that like that sort of thing. But that won't be on my main channel. That will be on the second channel. Which will still get posted in the Discord. Unlocking doors. Uh, second channel is streams and stuff. There's also a third channel as well, but nothing's been posted on that for about three years. <laughs> I think that's on the second channel. Is a video I was really impressed with that uh, take I did down in the New Forest. Um, that I I really liked. Uh, somewhere I'll be going again in three months' time. Yeah, streams and friends is the third one. There's been nothing posted on that. I had a good idea for that. Just one person did some content for it. Um, and there's been no interest since. Right, Grand Central is our final stop then. I type. So, yeah. New York, New York. I am good. Finally got back into the thought that today's Saturday. After two really weird days, I didn't have a clue what day it was. So back in normal Saturday routine now. So we'll take a slow trip into Grand Central. Definitely should, well, it should still be there. I haven't removed it. I removed the fourth YouTube channel. I didn't do very well. But yeah, so stuff I film from the bus thing will go on um, streams and stuff. And the video I do about the um, my console collection will go on streams and stuff as well, rather than go on the, the main channel. Let's 
slow it down. Oh, the first cooking sim stream was hilarious. I, I don't think that can be bettered because I didn't have a clue what I was doing and that was just... I really did like that stream. That was awesome. I'd love it when just... Yeah, that's why I like having like first looks at games on stream and I don't look at other people playing those games because I want to just have my first take at it and have that whole, I ain't got a clue. It's definitely getting very tunnely in here, isn't it? Well, I'm quite going this slowly. Yeah, stealing a train, it's a shame really because it took three separate Twitch streams to put that together. Because um, I needed to do it again for YouTube. So it's three separate Twitch streams. I then edited the video together to make the video for YouTube. And I don't think one single person got as far on that video on YouTube to where I stole the train. which was like, oh, really? You subscribe to streams and stuff. Yeah, check out my uh, Walk in the New Forest, I think it was called. Um, I go back and watch that myself occasionally because I really like that. Yeah, I should really go through because I've got all my old on the shelf above me. I've got all my old Xbox 360 games, uh, Xbox One games, PS3 games, PS4 games. Uh, in the cupboard behind me, I've got my old PlayStation 1 games. I've got some really old PC games. Um, I've got a load of board games. As well as obviously all the consoles that I'm uh, collecting. I thought I was doing well. I, I managed to grab one on eBay this morning to fill one of my gaps. And then uh, did some research and realized there's a version of the Xbox One S that I need to get. I was like, oh, really? I'm very close to ordering an Xbox Series X. It's very close. Uh, no, I got rid of, well, I didn't get rid of my Wii. I had my loft cleared out about 10 years ago and forgot when I did it that in a couple of crates in my loft were my Dreamcast, uh, my Wii, uh, and uh, Mega Drive. Uh, plus games. So they all went. I only realised like a day after. I was like, oh, damn it. So I've got a Mega Drive now. Got one of those on eBay. Um, I need to find a Wii. I've got my Wii U. So yeah, and I've filled in the gap. So I've got every version of Xbox console now. Xbox 360 console now. So the 360 Core, the 360 Arcade, the 360 Pro, the Elite, the S and the E. Uh, I've got my Day One Edition Xbox One, which is set up here. I've got my Xbox One S. So I've got to get the Xbox One X. Then the Xbox One S Digital Edition. 
then the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X to complete the Xbox collection. And then there's the PlayStations. Yeah, we are going quite slow. It's a 10 mile an hour speed limit through here. That's a four line run we've done though, all the way from White Plains all the way into Grand Central. Yeah, I do have the 360E. That was launched at the same time as the Xbox One. So it pretty much looks like a slightly smaller version of the Xbox One. Yeah, when my uh, 360 Arcade turns up this week, um, I'll do a video. It'll be a short one of all my, all the Xbox 360s. And then when I finish the Xbox One series, um, which I've only got to get the 1S digital, that's that. And then it'll be the, the series Xboxes. And I've got a couple of PlayStations. I need a PS3... Slim, PS3 Super Slim, PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro, PS5. That's not a four-line run. Harm line goes further than White Plains. Well, it's, okay. Well, it's the longest run that I could do. was White Plains. We'll see if there's anything further then. Because it would be nice to have done the four line run. Actually, yeah, you're right. I'm sure last time when we did this, I ended up coming into White Plains from beyond White Plains. Uh, I'm actually doing OMSI London on Tuesday. And yeah, I've been looking for a PS5. Um... Because there's a digital version of the PS5 as well. And you can't get them anywhere. Uh, Currys have got them. Um, with bundled other things. About 650 quid. But I don't want to spend that. Right, in we come to Grand Central. Okay, that's, there we go. Should be in Cadbury. I'm going to go crashing into the buffers. Uh, Racing Nathan. Uh, thank you very much for that. Depends on I'm going to use it. Well, I was looking at um, Gran Turismo. Uh, which is why I was going to buy a PS5. But then watching reviews on Gran Turismo, I've been slightly put off by it. So I'm going to finish my Xbox collection first. Because I use my Xbox One S downstairs as a streaming device. Um, but I want to do a bit more Forza Horizon and stuff. So at least be able to play on in 4K downstairs would be quite nice. And then I can bring it up here and stream. So I've got Taurus Bus for console. Um, so at least I can bring it up here and stream Taurus Bus. Yeah, I think when I get a PS5, it will probably be the digital edition. But I need the media slot. Right, so we have arrived at Grand Central. So that's White Plains to Grand Central. We'll have a look then and see if there's a, a little route we can do then that takes us to White Plains. 
So at least we can then say we've done the whole thing. I'm sure we ended up last time going beyond the White Plains. Twenty three point nine eight miles. Actually, no, it went north White Plains, then White Plains. So it might have done it then. That's where he started, North White Plains, then went to White Plains. Um, okay, let's have a look. Yeah, we seem to do something short. So we look at scenarios. Uh, oh, let's have a look at timetables. What have we got? I don't do January. I'll go August again. Uh, we'll go with the three again. A Croton Harmon. Okay. That's different. Drive an express train from Yankees. East 153 Street to Grand Central. Ooh, that could be interesting. Let's do that. When it loads. Eventually when it loads. Uh, okay, so key in open window uh, into forward brakey thing into maximilian braking chargey the brakey my favorite train and route and train sim classic favorite train of course is the pacer uh, favorite line it's close actually between the riviera line and london commuter uh, unlock doors. Which side's the platform? Left side. Okay, so headlights on brights. Have we got tail lights? Are off. So 153rd Street, where we currently are. Wait until 1717. Really? You're going to keep me? Okay, fine. We'll go and say hello to our public then. Hello, Baldy. Wow, that's some trousers. That's that's definitely some trousers. You've, that's a whole look you've got going on there, haven't you? That's a, that's a thing. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I like that shirt. It's quite nice. Uh... Good morning. Hello, people. Good morning. Do, 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 do. <laughs> track one, track two. Makes sense. Do, 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 do. We are waiting to do the going thing. Okay. And that window. Uh, so where are we stopping? Uh, low passengers at Harlem and stop at Grand Central. Oh, okay. It did say an express. <laughs> so that's that's what we're doing then. Yeah, next week, uh, going to be doing rapid transit in Train Sim World. Do next Saturday. More trains, though, on Wednesday. Uh, Frankfurt, Frankfurt, even to, to Koblenz. Easy for me to say. So I don't think I've done anything on. Uh, tonight, back with some American trucking. Tomorrow, lunchtime, uh, truck and logistics sim. Then back on Tuesday night with some OMSI 2 uh, driving for the bus company in Landon. Thursday is a new game, Builder Simulator. Friday night, more Forza Horizon 5. Enjoyed that last night, apart from the frustrations of not being able to get into races. Uh, next Saturday night, some golfing with idiots. And next Sunday, potentially some farming, but uh, we will see. 
Uh, right, locking doors. Okay, stop at Harlem uh, in 1.4 miles. Yeah, I really do like this DLC. It's very good. There aren't many DLCs that have come out for Train Sim World 2 that I don't like. Some that I maybe don't enjoy because they're not my thing, like the American Freight and Steam. Um, but that's different to not, like, them not being good. Yeah, I think the Steam one was done fantastically. It is so well detailed. The audio is brilliant. It's just not my cup of tea. So another run back into Grand Central then. Final trip we will do this time. We've also got things like Surgeon Sim we've got to finish off. We've got Power Wash uh, Sim we've got to finish off. Um, I want to do some more Cooking Sim. Uh, I want to do some more Open TTD. Um, I want to sort of start getting back into Flight a bit more. So maybe Flight becomes fortnightly on a Sunday. Maybe do a farming thing one week, some flight the other week. Because really enjoyed the flight we did yesterday. Um, as well as whatever else comes up and comes out. So there's so much stuff that I want to stream. Um, it's just having the, uh, the time to do it. Cross this bridge again. Came over here the first time and there was a freight train coming under us. There's a freight line down there. That's quite cool. Right, 800 yards until we get to Harlem. Yeah, I said earlier, I really wish they'd do that elevated um, transit route. I think it's Chicago, isn't it? Um, that would be really cool. Although there's bits of this that are elevated in New York. Obviously this bit is. And there's a bit that's been turned into a like a park and stuff in it that you walk on. I think that would be quite cool. I've got no real inclination. To, well, I'd like to go to New York just to say I've been to New York. Um, but it's not somewhere I think I'd like to spend a lot of time. Uh, you live in New York. I'm just saying it's not something... It's like Vegas. Love to go to Vegas. But I don't think I could spend a lot of time there. Uh, someone used to work for me. They spent a week in Vegas. And he said after like two days he was bored. Because <laughs> you, you, he wasn't like me. He wasn't interested in the gambling aspect. But like wandering around the casinos and the shops. And he'd sort of seen everything in a couple of days. So New York's one of those places. Yeah, like to go there. Like to do the touristy bit. You know, spend the day and then get out of there. Uh, right, Grand Central. Uh, 4.1 miles.
I was planning on getting to the States this year. Obviously, the last couple of years I've been able to go because of the whole COVID thing. Um, I think it's going to be next year now. Right, slow trek into uh, Grand Central again then. Not that slowly. Yeah, I really do like this DLC. They certainly uh, nailed it with this one. I think done with pretty much everything and they've put out in the last six months it's just all been so so good uh, really looking forward to seeing what comes next so we've got a 45 limit coming up Should be doing the coasty thing, really, shouldn't we? We are going slightly uphill. And back into the darkness, into the tunnels we go. Even these look really cool. So 2.4 miles till we arrive at Grand Central. And there we shall end for this time. Yeah, I definitely hated on Train Sim World when it first came out. Just wasn't a fan. Didn't like it. Um, but since these last few sort of routes have come out for Train Sim World 2, uh, I think every one's just been an absolute hit. And it's I, it's getting more, you know, Train Sim, I've always said, is the, the one, if I had to just do one sim and one sim only, it would be Train Sim. Then uh, the last sort of, six months or so farming would be just behind that um this is creeping up there i enjoy farming i, I love the community aspect of farming unfortunately that's sort of dwindling with us now um so that's sort of not say ruining my farming experience but sort of taking that reason to farm away um so this is definitely sort of almost taking over the farming spot we didn't warn me about that 25 limit did it thanks for that game warn you about the 10 
I'll slow it down again. early to the 10. Well, that train was going more than 10, even 15. than a mile to go. It reminds me of coming into Birmingham New Street. You used to get a train quite a lot uh, up and down to Birmingham and used to come in from sort of Gloucester and Cheltenham and uh, if I had a bus to catch it, it always stop you in the tunnels coming into Birmingham New Street. I'd be like oh, really? And then you come in on a platform like completely away from where you wanted to be and you'd always get some idiot in front of you that didn't want to get off the train or I had loads of bags and it's oh. it reminds me of that. Okay, so we've got a ten mile an hour limit now. Try and keep under it. So even like the noise this makes. So that electric train we're in on the stream last week, I think it was, that just had no noise. Um, it is all about the audio for me. And I love the fact that even though this is electric, we still got noise with it. Track thirty five. the one thing with train sim which is almost as of the same ilk as farming you'll either get the fact that you can just trundle along at these speeds just chilled and relaxed and from a gaming point of view you're not doing a lot or you won't get it at all that's why you know generally sim gamers are different to other gamers we can cope with the the slow pace We don't need lightning reactions to be able to shoot people. we come slowly again into Grand Central it's really hard to hold it under 10 miles an hour because even like dropping down to 8 miles an hour and then accelerating it just seems that you get that sudden burst of acceleration and you don't want to risk speeding especially as it's on a slight incline as well It's 
must be so frustrating as a passenger if you're coming into this station at these speeds and you're like, I've got to get to work or I'm going to miss my connection. I feel like people that have connecting flights and stuff when they go places. I've never done a flight where you connect. I just imagine that must be frustrating when you're late or slowly taxiing. Here we come, though, into Grand Central. All the way to the end. Well, not all the way to the end, because that's where the buffers are. And that won't end well. And we shall think about applying some brakes about now. Three yards. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, that was a thing. Yep, stop doing that. I really wish they'd sort out Unreal from doing that. Right, is it going to make me shut the thing down? Hello. Ministry just sat in a cupboard. Yep, where do you work? I work in a cupboard. Is it going to make me sit down again? Or is it going to not? Are you going to end the scenario? Or are you just going to... What's going on here now? I'm going to get off. I was supposed to lock the doors again. <laughs> Hasn't told me to. Should do it, I suppose, shouldn't I? Let's go back and lock the doors. No, I'm guessing he doesn't want to end the scenario, does it? It's like, okay, we're just going to leave you there then. Fine, I'll just get off. We just, we just leave the train. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Finally. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's go back to the main menu then. So there we go. Another run on the Harlem line. Uh, really do enjoy that. Let's just get some audio. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that was. Oh, where are we? That was that was the Harlem line. Uh, next week uh, we'll do uh, rapid transit. Because it turns out I've done none of the training. Uh, I've done nothing. So I haven't done any rapid transit at all. So uh, we'll do some of that uh, next week. Um, and with a return to... Oh, give me audio back. Uh, with a return to uh, Steam at some point in the future. Uh, really, really good DLC. Just Steam isn't my thing. But it was quite amusing to do. Uh, and then plenty of other things to look at uh, over the coming weeks and months uh, on a Saturday for Train Sim World 2. Uh, so there we go. Thanks to you in chat for keeping me company for the last uh, two hours and ten minutes. Uh, next stream is back in about four hours time uh, for some American trucking. Uh, hauling some interesting loads, hopefully, around America land. And then back tomorrow with some truck and logistics. Uh, so thank you very much for your company and to these people as well. So thanks to Crispy and Nightbot for doing no moderation. To Dave and Demi for following. Uh, Racing Nathan for subscribing. And Connor for subscribing as well. Don't know why it came up both there, but okay. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I will be back then in about four hours time uh, for some trucking. Until then, if you have been.
Thanks very, very much for watching.